I made the super trend indicator within Thinkorswim. In the TradingView platform, there is a community of custom built indicators in which you can see the ones that people are using the most. And the super trend indicator comes in at number six on this list. So it is a very popular indicator among your peers. This indicator makes it so you basically never have to guess on the trend or direction of any ticker you are looking at ever again. And in today's video, we are going to go over the use cases for an indicator like this, different ways you can customize how it works, and we're even going to build a scanner so that you can use this indicator to locate stocks currently in uptrend. A very special feature of Thinkorswim is that any of these custom codes that you create will run on anything that you can chart. You all just saw me switch the ticker to NVIDIA and of course the study automatically adjusted to that ticker. I just want to showcase as well, clicking down now into the five minute time frame that the ticker will work here as well. So you can make use of it for day trading, for swing trading, for more investing, come out to the weekly time frame, whatever you would like to chart this custom indicator will run against. I've already published this code over on my website, daytradingstrategies.net, where you can access over 140 custom thinker swim codes. And today, I this is my launch announcement for this, I just announced an annual plan that you can sign up. Obviously, you get access to all the new codes I add to my website for an entire year, in which I promise at least one new code a week. As you can see here, you very typically get multiple codes a week, but just announced, obviously, right now, you can sign up for the annual plan. Of course, you're going to save yourself 29% over the monthly fee, but more importantly, you're also going to get lifetime access to a Discord server if you sign up for the annual plan. That will be a place for a like-minded community of people who are utilizing custom thinkorswim codes to talk about the codes they're using, the trades they're taking, what they're finding works best in their back testing, etc. So if you're interested in that, the annual plan exists. If you don't want to pay that much, I understand. The monthly plan is there still for you as well. Whatever you decide to do, link to this website will be in the description below this video. Giving you a sneak peek into the source code here, essentially there are two values that the front end user can easily change and adapt this study using. You have your ATR length and your factor. What we're pulling here is high plus low divided by two. Basically the middle value of the bar, then we are defining the upper band as the middle of that bar plus your factor value times your average true range, which of course makes use of that length value that you have the opportunity to adjust as well. And of course, lower band is the same thing, except minus that factor times ATR value. That is how we are deciding whether the stock is in uptrend or in downtrend. And just to showcase to you quickly what happens if you change these values, let's go from a factor of three to a factor of five. And you can see here, you just sort of get a wider distance that the ticker must make a move down before you get that switch into downtrend. And if we come in, let's go back to a factor of three and let's switch the ATR length from like 10 to 20. You'll just notice that we also get a little bit of a change in your super trend there as well. Let me go back to 10 just to see what that looked like on default. Just a little change there in a 10 different ATR. But that's important. In every really custom code that I make, I try to make them as customizable as possible because every single person watching this video is likely going to use different values here. You're likely going to find like something that works better for how you like to trade. A factor of 3.75 might line up better and help align better with your trading goals. So once again, in every single code that I make, I like to include these input parameters so that you can easily adjust how the study is working so that it works the best 
for you. If you just listen to that spiel and you think, what, why? Like, why did you do that, Trey? Because I just listened back to it myself and kind of thought that myself. Remember, I'm not coming up with this idea. This is just an extremely popular study among traders over on TradingView. So really, I'm just taking the idea of something that seems to at least work for a lot of traders and converting it to thinkorswim. Let's talk about some example use cases for this custom super trend study. So right now we're looking at the SPY chart. SPY of course being an S&P 500 ETF. And if you're paying any attention to the markets right now, you will know that the S&P 500, the overall market is down really hard. We've got this trade war tariff showdown going on with China right now and the entire market is getting hit pretty hard well our super trend study went red here on February 27th and on this day SPY closed at 584 points SPY got down to a low of 482 points so if you simply listened to this trend you missed out on over a hundred points of downside and currently continuing. I mean, who knows? We'll see where SPY goes from here. But the point is, hey, the overall market is weak right now. It's not time to look for longs. That's a great way you can make use of this super trend indicator. You know, when the markets are strong, when we are in this nice green uptrend, it's time to go look for some longs in your active trading portfolio. When it's not, we can avoid the headwinds that come with a falling market because when the market falls, everything falls. I mean, look at NVIDIA over the last couple of months since February as well, gone from over $130 or $140 a share down to less than $90 a share. I mean, everything I'll click through, every at least big name I'll click through will have a similar chart. And since you are using the super trend indicator to recognize that the trend in the overall market is down, you could have avoided all of this downside over the last month or so and at the same token when spy was going up of course we want to use this to locate good times to trade as well you had this period from uh what is this august 2024 all the way up until like december 2024 pretty much q4 of 2024 the markets were extremely strong that would have been once again a great time to get out to look to buy some of these things nvidia goes from a hundred dollars a share to up over 145 dollars a share during that exact same time frame apple during that time frame in august goes from 217 dollars a share to up to 255 dollars a share in december so once again just recognition in how you can make use of this super trends indicator to help you paint the picture of what's going on in the overall market so that you can better time your entrances and you can avoid trying to look for longs during once again market headwinds during market turmoil like we're currently going through again and once again you can use this indicator more granularly as well i have dropped down into the five minute chart of the smp now just to take a look at the sort of insane volatility we've had over the last two weeks this was the day where the 90 day tariff pause was announced you got a sort of initial spike up the average cloud or sorry the super trend indicator turns green and you just get a huge bull run in which the indicator remains green the whole time you understand this is a decent time to take advantage of bull momentum then the next day is a really fun one this is all one trading day that i've just highlighted here the open is really weak you sort of get a big drawdown sort of correction from the intense move the day before so you know all the way through opening bell which is this candle down until 1 35 p.m so pretty much all morning and through the lunch hour not time to buy not time to buy not time to buy not time to buy at 1 35 p.m we get the flip to green hey maybe they're is some bullish momentum going on now and you get a really nice move throughout the rest of the afternoon i mean this is a two and a half percent move up in the s p 500 in a single afternoon if you don't trade major indexes very often that's freaking crazy by the way and once again this indicator helps you sort of 
locate that switch immediately and understand that, hey, the tides have turned. We are now back into bullish momentum. We can start looking for longs again on the day. Hopping over to the scan tab now, I have already built a scanner that returns to us stocks that are in uptrend according to our super trend study. Also, I have included some stock filters. Don't show me any stocks cheaper than $5. Don't show me any stocks with smaller than a 50 mil market cap. And don't show me any stocks that have traded less than a million shares on the day. Basically, I just want to sort of see big, heavily traded companies returned within this scanner. And now hopping into the custom study code here, I'll just scroll down to the bottom of the source code quickly just to show you what I'm looking at here. So it, this won't make any sense because these are names of variables that I have previously defined using equations that really aren't worth talking about because they're really confusing. Um, but basically what I did was I just changed the output of the study. Whereas obviously before the output of the study is to paint red or green clouds, whether the mid body is above or below our ST super trend. Now I just have it to only show us stocks because within a custom study filter plot is the value that will actually be checked for stocks that should be returned on the scanner. So only return me stocks on the scanner in which the mid body of our candle is above the super trend, which means that the super trend cloud would be green. Now that's like good. Like I'm seeing 118 stocks right now that first off match my stock scanner value. So they are decently sized companies and they are in uptrend but it's almost kind of like who cares right like when i built this it's like okay like coca-cola's in uptrend uber's in uptrend uh, your pcg is in uptrend uh, who cares what's more important and what i should be scanning for is if i change the greater than symbol to crosses above that will show us stocks that today are crossing from downtrend to uptrend that's more so what I want to be looking for here for potential entrances when using a scanner like this. You can see we've gone from 118 results all the way down to just five results. So really limiting our scanner. And that's kind of what you want to do, right? So the first one on the list now is VOD. If we go look at VOD, we should see a stock in which the previous bar was red. So the stock was in downtrend and is now coming up and out of that downtrend once again would have been returned on the scanner here on this day as well right before it bounced from eight dollars and 57 cents which is what that candle closed at up to over nine dollars and 80 cents a 15 percent move in 20 calendar days that's the kind of switch i like to see appearing on a scanner like this and by the way i will also publish this scanner over on my website, daytradingstrategies.net. I just want to show off the second ticker on the scanner as well, because it's pretty awesome being GO. We go and look, and obviously GO just today crossed from having a red downtrend, super trend paint to a green. And look at right here, the last time that happened, this bar closed at $17.19. And you got to move up to over $21.50. That is a 26% move in 15 trading days. Once again, just a, another example to add some validity to this super trend cross being a pretty good indicator for continuation. Hit like if you learned something in today's video. Hit subscribe if you would like to continue learning. And remember that if you are interested in accessing both the study and the scanner you just saw in today's video, they, along with over 140 other custom codes, are available on my website. Then if you sign up for the annual plan, you get access to all the codes I will add over the next year. Save yourself 29% on what that would typically cost and get access to a Discord server. And I just want to let you know, you guys that watch the video all the way through will be in on the know here. Since I'm now offering this Discord server, that's a lot of extra work for me. And since I believe the two codes that I just added today actually make it over 150 custom codes on the site, the price for both the monthly and the annual will be going up soon. So get your price locked in now before that 
happens. Anyway, daytradingstrategies.net. There'll be a link in the description down below. At least go check out the website, read what it's about, get an idea of a lot of the codes that are on there, you know, read some of the reviews. Go check it out, make an informed decision if it's something that can help accelerate your trading journey.